Hey everyone and good evening. My name is Alex and today I'm going to make kind of an interesting video. I'm going to be looking at both Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2. This channel, which I started on YouTube, originally started as a Guild Wars channel. The very first video, which I'll link below, was a video playing Guild Wars and really talking about why Guild Wars 2, for me, at the time, was a disappointment. It was a disappointment in gameplay. It was a disappointment in expectations. It was kind of a disappointment in story. I felt at that time that Guild Wars 2 just did not hold up to the same ideas and gameplay and standards that the original Guild Wars series had. Now here we are quite a number of years later. Guild Wars 2, originally released in 2012, is now coming up on seven years. So it's a very mature product at this point. It has gone through quite a number of changes, a lot of balancing. It's had two major expansions, Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire. Has remarkably kept up with its living story concept. A lot of games, when they have a revolutionary concept, such as, for example, Living Story with Guild Wars 2, they do it for a while and then they kind of peter out. Arena Net, credit to them, has kept it going. And we sh will hopefully be seeing the next chapter of Living Story. So, Guild Wars 2, finally, after a long period of time, has started to click with me. I've actually started to enjoy playing it, and I think that a lot of the improvements that they've made, particularly in gameplay, has really turned things around for me. It's not a complete fix, though, for what I enjoyed in Guild Wars 1. So, as you can see with the footage here, the combat in Guild Wars 2 is very fast. It's a very kinetic style of MMORPG, which is great because before that, for a lot of MMORPGs, especially those that took their inspiration from World of Warcraft, it was all tap target. It was the piano keyboard, basically, of typing in the skills and shooting them off in a certain order. And it was kind of winch Ross repeat in a basic sense. Of course, there's a lot of things like conditions and environmental effects, so on and so forth. But here, uh, this was a very fast uh, mission, and I'm pulling all of the stops here, trying to make sure that I kill these destroyer crabs that came out, stay alive, and get through the mission here. And I'm just firing away. Unbelievable. So this was a much faster pace than I had experienced even with uh, Guild Wars at the time. I have really started to enjoy playing uh, Guild Wars and started to see it on its own merit. I'm sorry, I meant Guild Wars 2. I really started watch, uh, playing Guild Wars 2. The things that they did, particularly with several classes, and especially one here with the Mesmer class, uh, I think are very interesting. And from an interview that I read quite a while ago, this was kind of the original concept of the Mesmer when they tried to impl implement it into Guild Wars. Due to limitations uh, at the time, the Mesmer class in Guild Wars 1 became more of a saboteur class than this illusionary type of combatant. While here in Guild Wars 2, they've been able to realize their vision. Now, that was kind of a shock for me because when I fired up Guild Wars 2, uh, when it first came out, I'm like, this was not what I expected, particularly for one of my favorite classes, the Mesmer. I like kind of a saboteur concept. But this grew on me. I think it was very interesting, uh, some of the things they did, even though it was a pretty steep transition. So Guild Wars 2, I think, is a much better product uh, than it was in the beginning. And I think it's a real credit to ArenaNet that they have adapted this product, and it's been very successful. Guild Wars 2 is now regarded as one of the very top MMORPGs on the market, along with World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, 
We'll see what happens with World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, I might jump into that because I never got onto the World of Warcraft bandwagon when it first came out, and I've been never in it since. Basically, I think I've spent a grand total of maybe two hours playing World of Warcraft in total. So it'll be interesting. Again, for the other viewers of my channel, the other game that's spent the vast majority of my time has been EVE Online, and more recently, Dota 2. Games which uh, I hope to do some more videos on, uh, especially with EVE Online, and, and maybe even dive into Dota 2, but that's a, that's a different topic. Anyways, I have become much more satisfied with Guild Wars 2, and I've been really plowing into it, and I've been really enjoying it. I think a lot of the things they really did improve upon over Guild Wars 1, the die system, the combat system, one of the things that I said in, even in my very original video was that Guild Wars 2 was very good at what it did. And I'm beginning to see that more and more as I play the game, just how good that is. And I think I was just so turned off when I played Guild Wars 2 the first time. Coming from Guild Wars 1, I was like, nah. I, I missed just the huge amount of strategic depth that I had in Guild Wars 1. And now, I'm beginning to see that there's also a substantial amount of depth here, but it's different. It's not the collectible card or collectible skill aspect like you see with guild wars one and one of the things to remember about guild wars one is that the original concept of guild wars one was heavily influenced by magic the gathering building a deck or in this case building eight skills that you can use in conjunction and come up with these incredibles i love that and in a sense i really wish they had done that with guild wars 2 but what they've crafted with guild wars too is in many ways just equally incredible so that's being said now i've talked about guild wars 2 let's go back to guild wars 1 for just a moment and here we are with guild wars 1 guild wars 1 really was my first love when it came to an mmorpg uh, I had started with EVE Online, I got a little bit into it, and then I transitioned to Guild Wars, as it just grabbed me at that time. As I mentioned in Guild Wars 2, I had created a video early on that criticized Guild Wars 2 for it not being Guild Wars 1, and that's still very true, and still very true today. From a gameplay aspect, they are two different animals. Guild Wars 2 is much more kinetic, as I had mentioned, while Guild Wars 1 is much more strategic. Remember, one of the key foundations of Guild Wars 1 was the fact that, in many ways, it was based off Magic the Gathering. And Magic the Gathering is a very strategic game. In the case of Guild Wars 1, you're building a build, quotes, uh, quotes of eight skills. And how your build interacts with the rest of the team is really what makes Guild Wars 1 such a great pvp and team centric game that has been lost in guild wars 2 they've tried to bring it back but with some of the ideas that they had with guild wars 2 namely breaking what was called the holy trinity of dps tank and healing they kind of went too far and this is something i've mentioned before without some kind of dynamic uh, between the classes where one is reliant on the other then you just kind of get the murder death ball where everyone kind of slams together. Yes, everyone has their own healing skill and utilities and they do bring certain aspects to the team, but nowhere near the interlocking coordination that was required and is still required with Guild Wars 1. Yes, I'm here with a team just full of heroes and they're dumb as bricks and the builds are not great. But when one is playing in a guild match in a competitive arena or even one of the competitive missions such as Fort Aspen Wood or Jade Quarry and, and similar type of things. You really have to know what you bring to the table, the rest of the team brings to the table and how the, your parts can make a greater and stronger whole to lead you to victory. And to me, that is what makes Guild Wars so phenomenal is that as a PvP concept, it's absolutely brilliant and hasn't been recreated or redone 
to the effect or to the extent that we saw with Guild Wars 1. I really enjoyed the PvE aspect of Guild Wars 1. I'm enjoying it today, as you can see here. But I enjoyed the PvP even more. Um, I was in two or three different guilds. We tried to do uh, guild matches and Hall of Heroes. It was unbelievable. I mean, the competitive nature was was great. I now get that today from Dota 2. As you see, I do a lot more streaming of Dota 2. But I really also want to kind of bring that uh, back with Guild Wars 1. So maybe, who knows, maybe I can get into a guild. Maybe I can do more than just Fort Asmode. I don't know. Maybe We'll see. But that was one of the things that I love and still love about Guild Wars 1. Is that real depth and interlocking aspect of your build and your team that is gone from Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 is a fantastic game, as I pointed out. It is very good at what it does. It is a great competitor and has really innovated aspects from World of Warcraft. It has pushed the genre. Uh, it has can be commended as such. But as a proper sequel, as I mentioned in my very first video, it is not. I still think that Guild Wars 2 is a very good game, uh, much better than it was. But I would still love to see ArenaNet come back and revisit the PvP concept of Guild Wars 1. I think it's definitely worthwhile to take a look at. The most popular and successful games on the marketplace today, especially for the PC, are PvP games. League of Legends, Fortnite, Dota 2, you name it. If you look at the Twitch and the channel feeds and YouTube, what are the ones at the top? They are competitive PvP games. ArenaNet has a brilliant concept here with Guild Wars 1. I think it's a concept they can definitely return to at some point, and I would encourage them to do so. And what they did with Guild Wars 1 is very special. They took a PvP game and they also wrapped a beautiful PvE shell around it. You know, to help encourage cooperation as well as competition and to explore the great world of Tyria. In Guild Wars 2, they've taken that to its very extreme. And it's extremely well crafted. The exploration aspect of Guild Wars 2 is phenomenal. Far better than Guild Wars 1. Uh, and the concept of hearts and things like that, of uh, having like active quests going on or just pop up in front of you, I think that's great. That's definitely great concepts that uh, are an improvement over Guild Wars 1. There are many things that Guild Wars 2 does better than Guild Wars 1. But from a core PvP concept, I mean, you saw what happened with the PvP concept of Guild Wars 2. It kind of fell flat. You know, they tried to do a PvP league. It didn't really get anywhere or professional esports. There's no professional esports for Dota 2. There could be one for Dota 1, though. Ironically enough, it could definitely use a new coat of paint, however. <laughs> that is definitely true. The graphics engine here is 14 years old, and it's beginning to show, of course. But... A good idea is a good idea, no matter what time it is or where it comes from. Guild Wars 2, incredibly well-crafted, incredible great ideas for PvE, for world building, uh, for dynamic uh, gameplay and a very fast kinetic gameplay. I am really beginning to like it. But from a strategic team building point of view, Guild Wars 1 is still where it's at. So anyways, folks, I will leave it here. These are my thoughts for both Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 1. As they stand today here in 2019, they are both very much worth taking a look at. The great thing is, is that a lot of the achievements you make in Guild Wars 1 can now carry over to Guild Wars 2 with unique items. They're actually The games are actually connected together, which a lot of people that may have gone to Guild Wars 2 don't realize this. I don't want to go back to Guild Wars 1. You know, there's, there's no benefit if I really like Guild Wars 2. Well, no. I mean, there's actually certain aspects of weapons and armor and pets that the only way you're going to get them is to do achievements in Guild Wars 1. And then there's a calculator called the Hall of Monuments Calculator. There's a point system used, and you can get unique items in Guild Wars 2. And you really tie the whole story together because you do really need and makes for a much richer experience in Guild Wars 2 knowing the backstory of Guild Wars 1 and playing through it. And the actual story of Guild Wars 1 is quite good. 
In fact, I would say in many ways it's better than Guild Wars 2. At least the main story. I'm talking about the main personal story up to level 80 in Guild Wars 2. Compare that to the main story, let's say Guild Wars Prophecies. I would say Guild Wars Prophecies is much better than the personal story in, in Guild Wars 2. There are things I like about the personal story in Guild Wars 2. I think the aspect of the orders and all the multiple paths you can take to it. But it's still the same end. And... Mm, I just think it was it was just better in, in Guild Wars 1. So anyways, I will leave it here, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. And I'm thinking of maybe doing more in-depth comparison between Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 1 in certain aspects. Maybe one is, is combat, another one is story, things like that. But this is my general thoughts. Uh, between the good two games, how I view them now is now a different than when I made my first video several years ago. Uh, but some of the conclusions I made back then still stand today. So anyways, take care, folks. I will talk to you soon, and take care.